Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another video. So this is actually going to be the beginning of a new series on my channel Which will be on my main account in the main game of OSRS. So now that Twisted League is over There's a lot of people who probably are fed up with clue scrolls and uh, well my old OSRS series was pretty much a road to 100 million clue scroll loot tab and I was around 18 million 19 million loot tab at the moment when the Twisted League was released and because of the as I said Twisted League fatigue on clue scrolls I'm going to discontinue the series and instead I will still do clue scrolls but I'm going to do a bossing series so in the background you can see some of the progress I made in my clue scroll series before the Twisted League came out so I just wanted to uh, show the clips that I still had so you wouldn't be uh, well, too confused on where some of the progress came from. But what I'm going to do actually in this series is I'm going to pick one or two bosses depending on how hard they are. And I will try to, for example, if it's uh, a Slayer boss, I will get a Slayer assignment in the video. And then I will do the entire Slayer assignment on that boss. Or if it's not a Slayer assignment boss like God Wars Dungeons, I mean, you can get a... Kriara task and stuff like that, but I essentially want to do quite a bunch of kills like maybe 100 at least of the boss And I want to go through the loot and all the gear I want to use because I haven't really done any bossing I've killed some of the bosses, but I'm very inexperienced when it comes to old-school runescape bossing So it's pretty much going to be a guide as well as a loot video and my progress towards being really bad at the boss and actually being good at the boss and have killed it like a hundred times so let's begin the series right now and i hope you guys will enjoy it any feedback is greatly appreciated so this is my current loot tab it is 19.6 million but you never know with clue scroll items and i have 2.9 million cash so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sell the clue tab and i'm also going to organize my bank way better so i can actually set up loot tabs and all that and my gear will be uh, easier to access for all the future bossing sold everything and i have the platinum tokens and the purple sweets left so let's uh, put them in for a pretty decent value here let's see if they sell they do so i have 11 million now and let's turn all the platinum tokens in as well so let's see how much my clue tab was worth it was 19 million so it was very close to what uh, the suggested price was 19.1 pretty good uh, start there to buy some gear with and all that so I sorted my bank now and there are definitely way more things I want to buy. I mean, this is what I have right now and it just looks a bit smoother and I've set up a loot tab as well. But I didn't really spend any of my money, so I'm still not using the best gear. But I actually want to see first what uh, boss I want to pick. For example, if I get, uh, you know, Kraken, I don't want to buy full bando. So we will have to see what kind of gear I'll buy in the future. So I'm going to start off by doing Slayer and I actually want an Abyssal Demon task because uh, I want to do some Abyssal Sire. It's one of the Slayer bosses I actually have the level for. So I'm going to start off with this Necril task and uh, hopefully in the near future I can get an Abyssal Demon task. First Superior, extremely early into the task, like 10 kills in and let's see what the loot is. Uh, Mystic Air Staff and Totem Base. I want to get Scotiso Pet in the future so that is very nice. Cheeky magic level incoming. There we go, 88 magic, getting closer to Barrage. Not sure how many tasks that was, but it was 185,000 Slayer experience until I got my first Abyssal Demon task, and it is a 144, so that is a good amount. So I can't actually afford a Dragon Warhammer, which is by far the best spec weapon at the Sire, so I'm actually going to go with a Bandos God Sword. Uh, I've seen some people say it's not that good at the Sire, and some people say it's pretty good, so I'm just going to take the chance and see how good it is for myself. So this is going to be my gear setup and inventory for the first attempts of my Abyssal Sire. Some food, runes for Shadow Barrage and Blood Burst, and also some Prey Potions of course, and Torax gear with the Arc Light and Dragon Defender for melee gear. Okay, so this is after my first attempt and I'm going to show you guys the first attempt that I did. So if this is your first time uh, killing this boss, I am going to show you guys all the things that I did wrong on my first attempt. So. First you want to go long range with your range weapon here, tag it, and then you run away a bit and you shadow barrage the boss to stun him. Now you can see on the top left it says 26, 25, 24, that's how long you have to uh, kill these vents until the boss will be active again. So what you want to do is you want to kill one of them and then run all the way to the other side and kill the second one. And um, when that one is dead, you need to stand close to the boss again. Or if you don't have time to kill the vent, you just go to the boss and you just shadow burst him again as soon as you see him moving like that. 
and then you have 30 seconds again to keep killing the vents and there's no limit to how many times you can stun the boss like you can do that infinite amounts of time if you can't kill the vent at all it if it takes like 10 attempts to kill the vents if you have really bad gear then you can do it it's uh, not that bad but obviously you want to be able to do this in two stuns one in the beginning and then one after that so now when you kill the vents you're supposed to go here put your melee gear on and your spec weapon and spec the boss when he comes out unfortunately i forgot to drink my combat potion but i was lucky to hit a good hit anyways so now you should drink your super combat potion and just spec the boss with melee prayer and piety so if I would have drank my combat potion, would have maybe hit like a 60 or something, but 53 is very good. And uh, now you pretty much just hit the boss until either minions spawn and you have to kill them, or move for poison, and you will see, I think, both of them actually in this clip. So here we go, that's a spawn, you have to kill it, otherwise they will be quite annoying. They use ranged and they can hit you for pretty high, I think, maybe like 10 or 13, which is kind of annoying. Meanwhile, fighting a boss that can hit you pretty hard as well. So here is another minion you have to kill and you need to kill the boss uh, or get the boss to like 45 or 50 percent I would say and then he's going to transition into the next phase. So you can see he's uh, there you go poison you have to move and you need to use your antidote. So now you can see the boss is at 50 percent or roughly and he runs away to this spot. Now you should have marked tiles by now but I didn't do that on my first attempt because I didn't know how to do it. Uh, but I will do that for my future attempts and you will see that. But what you need to do now is you need to move as soon as the poison is under you. But you can't move more than two steps because if you move two steps to the left or or more than two steps uh, to the left or right, the tentacles on the sides will hit you and you will take massive amounts of damage. So at this point you should be praying a ranged and I didn't so I was taking a lot of damage. And when you get teleported like that, you need to run away, because when he opens his stomach, he's going to do, like, huge damage, can hit, like, 70s. So definitely run away. You don't need to run away that far. But you can see now, like, look at my HP. Boom, smacked for 10 damage. And then I will... I think it's this one. Look at my HP now. Boom. That was the tentacle, because I failed. I was standing too far out, and I'm running too far now, because I haven't marked the tiles. And, yeah, you should be playing ranged as well at this phase. So, I was really close on killing it on the first attempt, but it was a terrible attempt, but I'm going to improve during this video. Okay, so I marked the tiles, so this is how it should look like, and uh, you need to stand on one of them, and as soon as the poison comes under you, you move to the other location, and then as soon as poison comes on the other one, then you move to the other one. That's pretty much all you do in that second phase. Okay, that is my second kill, and look at my HP. Two HP left. That... Could not have been any closer, and that was two kills in one trip actually. I actually swapped, by the way, my uh, Bandos chaps to a carry skirt. Maybe it <laughs> will help me a bit, but this is what I do, by the way, every single reset. I have my dual ring, I uh, teleport to the Clan Wars, and then I use my Glory to teleport to Edgeville after I enter the Clan Wars portal, and then I use my Draymond Staff back to the Abyssal Sire. Man, I'm definitely improving. 9kc now, and I actually was 5 in the last clip when I didn't start this trip yet, so I did 4 kills in one trip, and I can probably do another one. Okay, the problem with the BGS is that if this happens, a 4, and then I try to spec again, and I get a 0. It is completely useless, so that is a huge downside of the BGS. Let's see if I can get a better spec now than a 4 and then a 0. Um, let's see. Okay, 33, yeah. So the difference between a kill when I actually hit good with my BGS and when I hit nothing is so huge. Like the last phase is, is so easy if I hit a good BGS spec. So after this trip I'm actually going to try to not use ranged for these vents just as an attempt. And I want to use uh, blood spells instead and see if I can just heal pretty much all the HP that I need off the vents with blood spells. I don't know if that's going to work at all but uh, it will give me some more inventory space because I don't need to bring an entire ranged setup. I don't know if there's any option in rune light or something where I can just make it so I can't uh, left click on these minions but look at this. I'm trying to click on the tile and it just keeps attacking the minion, walking into the poison and screwing up my mov movement so much. I mean I'm failing a lot probably in my movement because I haven't done this a lot but I mean there are so many minions all over the place and I'm trying to click on the tile but it just keeps going on the minions instead and uh, making me take so much damage. It is one of the more annoying things of the last phase of the sire. 
Okay, so I'm now going to make an attempt with another set of inventory. So look at this. I have way more food now. I only have my melee weapons and my trident. And it is a trident of the swamp, so it is a slightly better version. I I'm not sure though if it is better than the normal trident here, because uh, I don't think these vents can get poisoned, or venomed rather. So, uh, I'm hitting pretty good, I think. I mean, I hit a 30, and then now I hit a 14, so that was very easy. Even with the melee gears, I have like no magic uh, bonus at all. So, maybe this is a good option instead of using ranged. Though, I might not be able to kill this in time. Yeah, that is... Uh, yeah, that is pretty bad. Uh, if you can't kill, or at least for my gear, if I can't kill these vents in uh, one stun, two of them, that is pretty bad. So, I, I will have to experiment a bit and see what I think. So if you can afford the Dragon Warhammer, definitely go for it, because this is what can happen if you can't lower the boss's defense at all. Like, these minions both melee you and range you, so even if I pray ranged, I take a lot of damage in this last phase, and it really is just a DPS rush to kill the boss before you die from the minions. And I'm trying to kill this boss now, and I actually hit pretty decent now, but I'm taking so much damage from the minions, and sometimes you just hit like 5 zeros or 10 zeros in a row, and you can just get completely destroyed because of it, so that is very unfortunate, and if I had, as I said, a Dragon Warhammer, I would probably not get in these situations as often as I do right now. Is this actually a drop? I just got an Air Talisman. 73 GP from an entire Sire kill. That is just sad. Oh my god, dude, I got an Unsired. That's like, what my case is, 48. That is really lucky, actually. The drop rate is 1 in 100, so let's see what it is. Okay, so the only thing I don't want is the jar, I think, because it is pretty useless. I, I don't even have construction level to use it, so... Oh, bludgeon piece! That is really good. I think each bludgeon piece, in theory, is like 8 mil, because the entire thing is uh, 24 mil, so... Damn, that is really nice. If I can actually hit this boss now and finish it off when I got really bad BGS specs again, it's going to be my 50 kill count, so halfway to 100 after this dies. Yeah, look how bad this is when I don't hit good BGS specs. Uh, cold drop, 50k drop, and that is 50kc done on the Abyssal Sire. And I actually went back to our range setup, I did not feel like that blood thing with mage was a good choice, because I had to usually do three rounds with the uh, magic to be able to kill the respiratory systems, meanwhile with ranged I could do it in two every single time. So this is probably the thing I will go with for the rest of the sire kills. Oh, I didn't even <laughs> think of it, I just got 89 slayer from that sire kill, so... Pretty much 1 million Slayer experience left for 2 levels until I can do Cerberus, and that is going to be very nice for another video. With only 47 Abyssal Demons left, I really hope for better drops than an Earth Talisman. Come on, these are so sad to see. Unfortunately, the clip where I got the second Unsire was corrupted, so I can't show it to you guys, but let's see what the second Unsire is going to give me. Oh, another bludgeon piece! One more and I get like 25 million. With only one more abyssal demon left to kill, I'm going to show you guys the last phase or pretty much the end part of this fight after you kill the respiratory systems. I just hit a, like a 68 or something BGS spec and this is how easy this fight is when you hit a really good BGS spec. And I really think I got this down now, I mean, with 143kc and after this 144, I feel like with the current gear I'm doing very good for what I can actually do. So, I'm going to in the future, of course, when I do Abyssal Sire, have better gear, because I will not do the Sire for quite a while, most likely, and I want to get the Dragon Warhammer for this, it would make it really, really easy, it would make every single last phase like this, like a breeze, and also the Bandos gear strength bonus would be a huge up upgrade, as well as the Berserker ring uh, imbued. All of those together will make this fight so easy, but you can see now in the background, like, as I said, I hit a really good BGS spec, so I'm just shredding him and I'm taking pretty much no damage. So, that is the last kill, Mystic Lava Staff, last drop. And let's go to the bank and see all the loot that I got. So, it was pretty juicy actually. Two Unsired was extremely lucky because it's a 1 in 100. So, Rune Light had an update in the middle of me killing the Abyssal Sire. So, I will put a print screen on 110 kill count loot. And then on the right side here, you can see the Abyssal Sire 34 kill count. So, I got two Unsired with each Blood Jump piece being around 7.3 million worth. So, the total profits that I got was extremely good. 
I mean, I made almost close to 20 million from this. So the total loot that I got was worth 24.2 million, but as I said, I have to get another bludgeon piece to be able to claim most of that. I think 7 million is what I can sell right now and actually use for future bossing. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this type of video. And if you want something changed, please let me know because this is, as I said, the first episode in a new series I want to make. So any kind of criticism is welcomed for sure. And uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of this series, please subscribe and be notified when I post these videos. Have a good one, guys. Take care.